talk about options for integrating your broadband push-to-talk system with your LAN mobile radio system. In ES Chat, we basically use two different varieties. One is Radio Over Internet Protocol, or ROIP. ROIP is a simple, reliable, low-cost method for integrating your ES Chat system to your LAN mobile radio system. Um, it's limited in the features it can do, but it is uh, a usable system that works on any radio technology in any frequency band. The other option we call the advanced category, and in it we have a digital, direct digital integration between ESChat and your radio network. And there's two different radio technologies this works with. On public safety P25 networks, we use a protocol called ISSI. And on the DMR networks, we use a protocol called AIS. And using these protocols, the LAN mobile radio systems see the ESChat users as radio users. So each ESChat user has a radio ID assigned from the P25 or DMR system. And ESChat, when talking on a talk group to those systems, follow the rules for priority and preemption. So we've got some P25 radios set up here and some ESChat devices. So let's go ahead and set up a demo and we'll walk through that. So in this demo, we've got um, a P25 network set up. We have four radios on it. We also have five smartphones. We have two Sonom XP8s. These are both on AT&T commercial network. We have a Kyocera DuraForce 2 on FirstNet. And we have an iPhone 10 on Verizon and a Samsung Galaxy S10 also on Verizon. So, with ESChat, we get our cross-carrier interoperability for free just based on the architecture. And now when we look at the integration or interoperability with the radio systems, we have a whole bunch of options. So this demonstration specifically is ESChat connected to a P25 system by ISSI. So this is in the advanced category. So there's a number of different call types that you can make. So let's start with our private calls. So when you do a private call on a radio system, it's what we call an alert call. And we do support alert calls within ES Chat. For example, if I wanted to call um, the Galaxy S10 in an alert call, I can select it uh, with a long press and say alert call, and it will page the other phone. The volume is turned down so you don't hear it ringing. And when that unit answers, we now have a private call between these two devices. So alert calling as opposed to barge calling that we typically are used to when we deal with push to talk, whether it's on a broadband system or on a radio network. Now on radio systems, the, uh, the notion of um, private calling is always alert calling. So, We've adopted that in ES Chat, and you can actually initiate the private call from the smartphone or from the radio. So let's do a call um, from this XP8. Now on our contact list, we see all of our other phones, and we also see in blue our radios, along with their P25 unit IDs. So I'll select the Tate radio and press push to talk, and the Tate radio begins to ring, and to respond, we press push to talk and we now have a private call between a radio and the phone. Just the same as we had from phone to phone. Let's clear that call. Now you can also initiate the call from the radio um, either through the alias list or if you know the ID. Remember, every ES chat user has been assigned a P25 unit ID from the P25 system. So as far as the P25 system is concerned, these radios think these are just other radios, not phones. So if we enter in a P25 unit ID, let's try 6208 and call, um, we now have a private call coming in uh, to this XP8. We can answer it, in which point we're now in a private call with the radio. So we've now done private alert calling from phone to phone.
from phone to radio and from radio to phone. And then radio to radio is built into the system and there's no need to demonstrate that. Okay, let's take a look at group calling. So group calling in ESChat, we have our group list. Um, and in our group list, you'll see that we have two different major group categories, groups that are homed on the P25 system. They're shown with the ESChat logo icon. And then groups that are honed, homed on an external system. And in this case, the external system is a P25 network. And that's the one we're gonna test with. So talk group 2001 happens to be the same talk group that we're tuned into on the, the radios. Of course, selecting the talk group on the radio is just a matter of changing the channel selector knob. Um, if we want to initiate the call from the radio, we simply select the channel and press the push to talk button and the call comes alive um, on all the radios as well as all the phones. Now again, um, one of the benefits of connecting your ESChat system to your P25 system by ISSI is you get the passing of unit IDs. So as the iPhone keys up or as the Galaxy keys up, um, as each of the devices key up, you're going to see their unit ID appear on the radio. And vice versa, you're going to see which radio is keyed up on the phones. So there's the Apex 7000, Apex 8000, there's the Viking, there's the Tate. So you've got full situational awareness in regards to talker IDs being passed between systems. Um, if you want to initiate the call from the ES chat system, you select the talk group that you want and you just press and hold the push to talk button and it establishes the call to that group. And again, everybody's connected. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's advanced interoperability between ES chat, broadband push to talk and P25 via ISSI. Now let's talk about emergency calls. ESChat has an emergency call feature that can be configured in a number of different ways. First, from the device side, if you're on a broadband device that has a dedicated emergency button like the Sonom XP8 or XP5S, um, that will be tied to your emergency function. On other phones that don't have a dedicated emergency button, you'll get an on-screen emergency button or using a Bluetooth push-to-talk accessory that has an emergency button, you can use that button to trigger your emergency. Now the emergency can be tied to a broadband group or it can be tied to a group that's on your P25 system. And if it is tied to a group that's on your P25 system, when you trigger the ES chat emergency, it's gonna trigger whatever emergency conditions um, follow on the P25 radio and console systems. So to put the ES chat system into emergency, we have it configured that it requires a one and a half sec second button press. So we'll go ahead and do that on this XP8. And that starts the emergency call. And you'll see the other phones are indicating an emergency is active along with an indication as which user is in duress. Now you could have a situation where you have multiple users in duress. So on the XP8, the other XP8, if we key this one up, now you've got two users in duress. And one of the behaviors that we have the system configured to is that this call will stay up as long as we have users under a duress condition. You'll notice that on the phones that had the on-screen push to talk, on-screen emergency buttons, they're now gone. So you would need to use your Bluetooth or wired push to talk button for emergency to trigger your emergency. And now you've got a third user in duress. And this call will stay in this condition until duress has been cleared by all users. So we'll start that process. Yep. 
And now at this time, the dress condition has been cleared and this call reverts back to a normal group call and will end after the idle timer that's been configured, in this case, 30 seconds. So one last topic. ES Chat encrypts all voice calls and encryption keys are changed on every call. LMR networks may or may not be encrypted and in P25 you can select encryption on a channel by channel basis. The P25 encryption keys must be loaded into the ES Chat system if you are running your P25 system encrypted. We have a couple different options for how you load those keys into ES Chat. So one is to run a static key encryption where through our console you're loading your ES Chat keys into our system and every time you change your keys or rekey, you'll have to reload the keys. However, we also support the key management function or KMF. So when your P25 network is rekeyed, automatically ES Chat is rekeyed. Um, later this year, in the future, we will be adding a third option for using the key field device that's available on your P25 system. So you can just plug in a key field device if you're not running a KMF. So um, currently two and soon three options for your P25 encryption rekeying. Thanks for sitting in. That's an overview of integration of ES Chat to your broadband uh, LMR system.